do you think that at secular schools run by the state, RSS should be allowed to hold camps of this nature? First of all, I must congratulate a journalist who has been highly fired up by the secular talk. His entire reporting was so much biased that I was amusing. I was amused and smiling all the way. <laughs> now, let us hit three, four major points. One is, <clears throat> is RSS taking over the school? Huh. It is taking some part on rental for its own daily program. Is it asking the school to change the dress? Is it asking school to follow its syllabus? Is it asking school to do the training for the students? Hmm. None of it. Hmm. Hmm. They are just taking some premise on rental or on uh, on uh, you know on any kind of basis to train their people. It has been happening for the last 90 years hmm. because RSS training camps held uh, once a year across India in hundreds of places. They hire horse, they hire schools, they hire any premise that will house certain number of people. Hmm. So what is wrong in that I do not know. So what does, where does the hijab and all this stupidity come? I do not know what kind of comparison this is. Okay. Secondly, talk about Vedic maths. Do you know that Vedic maths is internationally accepted as one of the best training of mind for mathematical calculations? Hmm. Just because the knowledge comes from Hindu dharma, should you throw it away in the name of communalism or secularism? I see the guy this, this blind hate for Hindu knowledge system hmm. is actually very heartbreaking. On what ground are you saying Vedic mathematics is bad? Okay. But Tipu Sultan was never a hero of Karnataka. He hmm. was made a hero of Karnataka by a novel written by Bhagwan Gidwani way back in 70-80 called Smoda Sultan. Uh, Tipu Sultan before there was never a hero. Hmm. So when I say that he cannot be a hero who has killed uh, thousands of Hindus and Christians, hmm. what is the problem with that? The bringing okay. this together, you are saying that will you allow Islamics and Islamic people to have the organization if they are like PFA naturally? Is RSS not a legal, a legal organization? Has RSS ever crossed legal limits? Has RSS disobeyed constitution? Has RSS sent people to uh, Syria or Arabia mm. or any part of the country, uh, you know, the nation for throwing bombs or mm. killing people or, uh, uh, you know, recruiting women for sexual comfort of terrorists? Mm. No. So where okay. is the comparison? Okay. Mr. It's Mr. Radhan Shanda. Doing I, above I, board I, training for people to create nationalist patriotic citizens. Okay. You, you made this some, you made some points and, and I, I, I noted down all those points. Just Finish your point. Finish your point, sir. Finish your point, sir. I am, I am, see, I am very upset with the kind of reporting you are doing. Do you know that the same training is used for disaster management, for serving people, for controlling traffic during war times? You don't know. All right. You are simply no, no, no. Sir, sir, Hindu. sir, that I think, no, 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 no. Sir, Mr. Mr. Ratan well. Sharda, I have a lot of respect for you and the kind of research you do or the ideology you come from. I have a personal regard for you. But that being said, I think you're being thoroughly unfair by terming the entire reporting or the manner in which we are framing the debate as bias. Now, let me allow, allow me and let me respond to you point by point. What my colleague Harish was reporting is essentially the politics which is playing out in the state of Karnataka. As a journalist, I think he was doing his job. I agree with you that one cannot draw this, uh, you know, some kind of parallels between a PFI and an RSS. I think these are two very different organizations. And PFI is allegedly under scanner, has been banned by the government of India for terror activities. So I'm not treading into that debate. Coming to the Vedic math, hijab, these are the two points that you made. I think if, if there is any knowledge that comes from our ancient texts or our Sanatan culture, there should be a proper research about it. It should be updated according to modern it times. And I so let me finish. Sir, so let me finish. I, I let you make your point. You would have to allow me to make my points. And then it should be implemented as a larger policy in the state. If Vedic math is good for the student of the state of Karnataka, why there was no wider consultation done and the policy implemented across? The second point you made about hijab. Hijab was not just about covering your head or tweaking the school uniform. It was about a religious expression. And RSS does denote a religious identity. That's what everybody has an exception to. That you might be an organization doing great work for the cause of the community, for the cause of the nation, but you have a religious identity. We cannot allow you in state-run education institutes. Mr. Ratan Sharda, please go ahead. First of all, what do you mean by wider consultation? Is government not authorized by the voters, which has a majority to decide, take decisions? Hmm. If you think that, do you know Vedic mathematics is discussed across the world? Are you aware yes. of this? Yes, I'm aware. Bhagavad Gita is to researched in yoga, dozens and uh, uh, dozens of countries. It has been translated into multiple languages, including Russian. Exactly. So the Germans any, and Russians are researching about it. So I don't think there is any bias for Indic knowledge and Indic faith. I am not going to take that. I'm not going to take that allegation. Okay. Can you allow me to complete my point? Tomorrow you will say, because maths come from Hindu rishis of long time, well, calculus, trigonometry, 
and various Mr. astronomical calculations come from Hindu no, rishis. No, one Tropic thing is there, Mr. Mr. Ratan Sharda, and this and is my request RSS to you as a fair debater. You would have to let go of this point. You would have to let go of this point that just because something is coming from Hinduism, people are criticizing it. Nobody is doing that here. Nobody is doing that here. Nobody is criticizing anything only because it comes from Hindu religion or our Sanatani practices. I don't think that's the argument that, that is said. anybody. When did I that's say that? That's what opposition is saying. Opposition is saying. Then you are making an argument. Let me bring in Ashpreet Singh Kadial into the discussion and debate as well. Ashpreet, when you talk about an organization like RSS holding these camps, the argument of uh, the likes of Mr. Ratan Sharda and many other people is that don't compare it to a PFI. These are organizations which are working for the benefit of the nation and they are going to do their work. They are only training students. What is the big controversy about it? Ashpreet. Well, well, the controversy is first it was textbooks, then it was syllabus, then it was history. Now it's this. So, you know, where does the buck stop? We don't understand why does, you know, uh, everything has to be politicized. Hmm. Why do you not understand that India is a secular state? We have a preamble, for God's sake, which says, we the people of India, socialist, sovereign, secular, democratic republic. Please read that. Hmm. And number two, how can the RSS intrude into schools? And it's not a, a you know, a, a single incident that has happened. It also happened in Coimbatore, in Tamil Nadu, wherein, you know, uh, the Express uh, Chennai, it, it uploaded videos also on, on their official Twitter page, where Mm. it can clearly be seen that they were being given training and in, in when they when the rss had to respond to that they said no we were just cleaning when the video clearly showcases there was training taking place a show cause notice has been sent mm. and the rss uh, is is denying it however you know with regards to the uh, the, the the karnataka thing uh, sfi has already said that we are going to be protesting and the state secretary mr vishwa reddy he said this is not just about you know uh, normal schools uh, as a matter of fact, the residential schools, which are specially catering to SC, ST, and OBC students, hmm. there it is happening uh, as 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 a case. Hmm. So therefore, you know, we we ask the government, what is happening there? You know, there's a rule of law. We have a constitution. It is not just wrong in the first place. It's also illegal. There is no provision that allows this. And 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 number two, you, uh, the parents of all these students, of all these kids, mm. they're having a hard time. They're protesting. They're mm. calling the RSS out, mm. and they're they're questioning the school authorities as well. They're questioning the government, but to no avail. Mm. So therefore, I think it is very important for the media to call the you know mm. organizations out because mm. nobody is above the law of the land. They have yes. to follow the law, yes. or else I, there I is really a, feel that there, there is should a be stated, some action. No, Ashwin, uh, I I take your point about the educational policy, and there is a law of the land preamble, part three of the Indian constitution defines how we should be run um, those are the broader tenets of the Indian constitution which are there and everybody to follow and if the government thinks there is an, a change in the education policy which is demanded they should make the changes at a policy level not the piecemeal approach that the government is taking but there's another allegation Ashpreet against against the Congress party and the opposition that Mr. Ratan Shada was talking about that you have an allergy